Hi everyone, Antoinette here. Today, I'm gonna to be talking about ambiverts, what they are and how to know if you just might be one. If you're ever questioning, am I really an introvert or am I really an extrovert? Because you identify with both of them just a little bit. Chances are you could be an ambivert. Ambivert comes from the Latin root word of ambi, which means both sides, meaning both introvert and extrovert, a combination of the two. So it's sometimes called the Goldilocks personality. Goldilocks meaning I can't really identify with introvert, I can't totally identify with extrovert, but yeah, the middle of both of those seems just right. The first sign that you may be an ambivert is if you can identify with yourself as, as either an outgoing introvert or a more reserved or inward processing extrovert. You feel like you're in combination of both of those things. So here's how it works. Introversion and extroversion is on a spectrum with both of those personality types being at the far edges However, most people are somewhere along the spectrum of introvert and extrovert. The ambivert is really dancing the line of the middle, a little bit extroverted, a little bit introverted. And so they're never going extreme in either direction. However, they can really see themselves as both of those personality types. The second sign that you may be an ambivert is if you really like to talk to and engage with people. You can even make small talk with people and you're very comfortable in that setting. Maybe it's a team environment at work and you really enjoy working with a team. You're very engaged, you're offering all kinds of ideas, you're very talkative. And in addition to that, you enjoy your solitude time. You enjoy your quiet time. If you're working with a team at work, you like it when the assignments are divvied up and you're gonna go work on your assignment by yourself independently. And you enjoy that just as much as the team or group setting. The third sign that you may be an ambivert is if somebody asks you a question or puts you on the spot, you're okay with that. You don't have to always be talkative. You don't have to always be in the spotlight, but you are comfortable whenever the attention is on you versus introverts who absolutely loathe to be put on the spot, who absolutely hate to be the center of attention. And if you're an ambivert, you don't mind it. However, you also don't mind being in the background and being more of a listener or being more of a spectator like introverts do. So therefore, you really are acting a little bit extroverted and a little bit introverted in that situation. And number four, you really get those two different personality types. The introverts over here and the extroverts over here you actually understand those personality types. Whereas introverts and extroverts, sometimes they just clash and they don't understand each other. And they look at the other end of the spectrum and it seems totally abnormal or perplexing to them. Being an ambivert and being a little bit of a mixture of both you understand both of those ends of the spectrum and you see them as totally normal and you get them. And number five, you may be an ambivert if you can easily adapt to whatever situation that you walk into. Say for instance, you're going to an event and there's a bunch of people that are very extroverted and very talkative. You can go into that event and immediately start engaging in conversation. You can be very comfortable with that versus going into another event that is primarily made up of introverts that may be very reserved and may be very quiet, and you don't see that as abnormal. Instead, you're able to then be more reserved and quiet. And the great thing about it is you're not being inauthentic in either situation. Instead, you are able to adapt to both situations because they are you. So overall, if you're thinking, I just might be an ambivert, you probably are. The late Dr. Barry Smith, who was a professor of psychology at University of Maryland, 
said that 68% of the population is made up of ambiverts. Now, if you wanna know more, not only about ambiverts, but introverts, extroverts, and something called omniverts, be sure and check out my video above and in the description below. Thanks for watching. I hope you'll subscribe to my channel and share this video with others.